Chiquita Pidén Cling Yay. Si no chica Mati, Chiquigua, ni chiquita, chiquita que te quedó, que te quedó. Ya, que la guana va a llegar. Se pensa si no. Peace, Carl? You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death, and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Taki thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Patoli is said to be one of I don't understand. It's almost like a creel.
Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? I'm always ready to trade. May they all be cursed. I make my way all the way over to him, and he tells me we can't barter. Said I had n nothing he wanted. Imagine that. Why? Apparently, Kabil is working with me. difficult. Mm. 
I will show them how a righteous man dies. <laughs> I can't believe how much Edsley has grown in such a short time. He's lost both his parents. I wonder how he's really doing. Well, he's handling it better than I did, that's for sure. All full up. Can't carry any more. Cowards. You're wasting your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor would be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No. The cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. Mother. Father. Soon we will be reunited. Am I in the afterlife? Are you a spirit? No, I'm very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. There, you're free to go. Yes, I have been liberated. The rebels like to make sure everyone knows just how Oh. It's an insult, a dishonor to Kukulkan. What's happened? The priests have forgotten their duties. They did not signal Kukulkan's arrival. Why? Gowards. All of us. This is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. 
You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. I don't understand. It's almost like a creel. I don't have enough space for that. All full up. Can't carry any more. Gosh! Tu men magua tunta wiliken. to finally kill me. I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others and find Kolkwi? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Kolkwi's alive. In the confusion, I heard him shout, ordering a retreat. I'm sure he's alive. Impossible. I can't carry any more.
all full up. Can't carry any more. What are you doing? I'm trying to read this stupid mural. I will. Show respect. I'm sorry, Ahau. I mean no disrespect to Kukulkan. I'm studying the murals to become a serpent guard, like my father. I'm sure he's very proud of you. But what if I can't understand the lessons they're teaching? Then what? Maybe I can help. Do you think your father would mind that? Would he, Mayu? No, child. I'm sure your father would be pleased to learn you've had the house help. Great. I've got part of this first one here. It's water. Well, something about water anyway. Uh, I think. And the others I haven't looked at yet. How about I go and study all the murals and then come back to you and we can discuss them? I'll be here. I'm Lara, by the way. I will. This describes something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. When what is above him is now below, the fed become the food that sow. The ground, the earth, Amun, the corn god. Father, father, come quick. It's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn. They call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Impossible. I can't carry any more. <laughs> Glide within him like a bird, but do not breathe. Water? So him must be Chuck. The god of rain. Huh? 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 
It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. The protectors. Hello. Ah, uh, greetings. Have you heard? It's so terrible. Sumak was killed by his own servant. How do you know Sumak? Everyone knows Sumak. He was my mentor and business partner. He, he made my business possible. Trade in the upper district without the right contacts, is, it's impossible. Sumak did all that for me and more. I'll find out what happened to him. Thank you, Ahau. Have you not been informed of the death of Sumac? Indeed, Ahau. He was a great man. He was. Now sound the call of mourning to usher him to the afterlife. Yes, Ahau. I will play. Mm. 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 How did it happen? When we arrived, Shoko, the mistress of the house, was arguing with Taruka, her servant. Sumak lay dead between them. Taruka was covered in blood. Did Shoko witness the murder? No. She came home from the market to find Taruka standing over Sumak. Has Taruka confessed? No, he pleads innocence. But you're here now, Ahau. Few can lie under the scrutiny of the gods. Hmm. When he confesses, speak with the investigator. He's up near the body. Oh, Ahau, please show mercy. I swear I didn't kill my master. Be calm, Taruka. Tell me what happened. I came in from working the fields. I heard a loud noise, like a gate slamming shut. I ran and found Suma covered in blood. He'd been stabbed. I, I tried to stop the bleeding, but he was already gone. That's why your hands are bloody. Ahau, please believe me. 
I'll return if I have any more questions. Hello? Shoko? Yes, Ahal? I know this is difficult, but I need you to tell me what happened. I was at the market with... Oh, poor Sumac. Take your time. Start from the beginning. You're at the market? Yes, with Agna. I was going to make bokchuk. It's... It was my husband's favorite. Agna? One of my servants. What happened when you came home? I found Taruka in the kitchen, standing over Sumak. His hands covered in my husband's blood. I yelled and the guards arrived. Was he holding a weapon? No. Did you hear a loud slam as you arrived? Uh, uh no, of course not. What about Akna? What about her? She was with me. She accompanied me to the market and back. Where is she now? Recovering in her room. She's had quite a shock. I'll go talk to her. But... Uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> As you wish, Ahal. Greetings, Ahal. What do you have? Sumak was stabbed in the neck many times with something pointy and very sharp. Like an arrow or a knife? Whatever it was, it's gone now. We've searched the entire room. Then the murderer took the weapon with them. May I have a look at the body? Of course. May the gods grant you the wisdom to see what I can. All full up. Can't carry any more. Yes, Ahal? Did anyone see Shoko at the market at the time when Sumak was killed? She was with Agna, her servant. Why? Taruka says he heard a gate slam when he arrived. That's what drew him to discover the body. Soon after, Shoko arrived. That's correct. So where's the murder weapon? We searched everywhere. It's not in the house. Mm, we're missing something. I'll speak with Akna, see what she knows. As you wish, Ahal. This will never be... Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for, uh, for a long time. Akna! <sighs> I'll find another way around. There's something there. As I told you, Daruka, the servant, was found with blood on his hands. Yes, Ahal. How can I help? You said earlier you'd been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. When Shoko returned, was Akna with her? No, it was only Shoko. Akna was not there. Why? Thank you, Taruka. Easy enough to see what happened. The servant killed his master. A tragedy. I must see Shoko. All full up. Can't carry any more.
It's Amna. Is the sun? It was on. Ah, uh, how? Hello? Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. The servant girl? <laughs> I wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Sumak didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumak's business partner. So they were friends. They're much more than friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Ahau. Imagine, murdered in your own home. Pakal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his business partner, Akal. I found a note terminating their business relationship, which would have ruined Akal. Find Akal! While Shoko and Akna were at the market, Akal entered the house stabbed Sumak in the passage back there and dragged the body where the servant Taruka would easily find it. Then he slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention, leaving through the servant's quarters. Ahau, please, go set Taruka's free. Thank you for your help. We will bring Ikal to justice. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. <laughs> Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahau. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. Can't quite make the dialect out. to get upon himself to steal the herbs she needs to get wet? Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Why not? All full up, can't carry any more. Hmm? <laughs> 
All full up. Can't carry any more. Big what? A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial life to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh. Let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh. You can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my plate! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties, too! Run, run! Please, they were just herbs. I beg you, I'll work. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. A chunk of food cheese. Is she
I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe, and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here. This will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here. With respect to the future king. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Sushipal Vale, Tankelem. Mashaneja, Hachmalo, Tequiba, Yetel, Puchucanovo, Yantón Milla, Hanna, Yetel y Pacilón. I freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. <laughs> Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quenty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. 
I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail. It'll lead you to it. I can't believe how much I... Thank you again, Ahau. I'm going to make my father so proud. The other murals are scattered around the city, but they aren't very hard to find. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. There's the entrance. Something's wrong. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place.
Banco's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manco from the cult of Kukul Khan. This lever should raise the water level. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The order turned it into a crypt. The Order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? I don't have enough space for that. <laughs> now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet.
trying to say. Thank you again, Ahau. I'm going to make my father so proud. 